Hi all, here I am at a new location out with Pete, Sugi 62 and we're at a very very old public garden and I've got a lot of one cent pieces till now and about oh, three inches down just extracted a sixpence you beauty and looks like a 1946 yay all right keep going and a lovely recent drop it's a 1998 Mustang you beauty well it was a long way down it was a hard dig but I got it and it's a ring with a ring on it yay it's only light so I'm not expecting much but worth the dig keep going all right, Pete, Sugi 62 and myself have been at this new park for about three minutes and Pete's just called me over, he's over there, and we said, we said, first person to find a coin, other person's got a shout of coffee. Now, he's got all excited for some reason or other. Yeah, I have got excited for the right reason. Oh, I don't know, you might just, just, uh, oh, no. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Just dug it out of the soil you Look at that. It's a beautiful florin. <laughs> that is awesome, Pete. Well done. You, be yeah, know, you belted it. You belted it. Yeah. All right. It was a beautiful florin now. It's just an ordinary old florin. Oh, well. All right. I'm still excited. Well done, mate. Yeah, there, there might be three minutes. Worth. There might be. A, Look at the there smile. Might be a couple more there. <laughs> there might be a couple more. Go easy. All right. Okay. Unbelievable. Three minutes. Well, it literally, wouldn't it? Yep. All right. I better get back to work. I can't let this yeah, go on. Sorry. Well done, mate. Thank you. And we joked about it before, didn't we? We did. <laughs> oh, you let me find the first floor. I'll let you find the first one. Thank you. <laughs> and you did. Yeah, yeah. Well yeah, done, mate. All right. And about five minutes later, I've invited Peter over because oh, I just got something nice too. There's the impression and there's the coin right there. And it's a beautiful penny and it's a 1952. Yeah. I'm on the board. Yay. Keep going. It's always a good idea to do behind the seat. Uh, that's where I got the penny, just over there. And a little bit further on, looks like I've got a half penny. Beautiful half penny, Commonwealth of Australia. You beauty, 1927. Beautiful 1927 Commonwealth half penny. Keep going. And there's Sugi 62 working hard. And I had to go down almost. Uh, three inches for this one. A beautiful 1920 Commonwealth of Australia one penny. Yay, keep going. I was so, so excited then, Pete, I forgot to press record. Oh, you kidding? No. Nah. Oh, All right, look at, so excited I forgot to press record. So, not as big as Pete's Florin, but still silver. You beauty. You beauty, shallow hole. Great signal, and it's a 1923 threepence. You beauty. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, this is the hole there that I just got that threepence out of, and I've just run this coil over it again. Very strong 40 in there. So uh, we're pretty hopeful there might be something else. Yeah, bigger piece of silver. Finding that coil. Finding silver, so it's got to be good. <laughs> oh. it's a... oh. <laughs> Not silver. I thought it was a bullet. Oh. Cool, keep going. Now I'm all excited. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm all excited because I just yeah. I just picked up a uh, wow. a prescription for some medicine, and there was a strong uh, 40 signal. Uh, a little bit jumpy. And I just uh, dug around it, and I was a bit sceptical because uh, there's a whole lot of glass here. And uh, I just popped the silver out. 1940, 
two threepence, and I looked in the hole, and we've got another silver. Two, that's unusual, isn't it? Yep. And it's another threepence, and looks like it's a 1951. Oh, Beauty. Awesome. And I'll just check the hole. Check the hole? Uh, not yet, mate, not yet. Anything's possible. And not far from the playground, another very strong 4042. Just taking the plug out, and I can see the uh, coin right here. And it's a beautiful penny. Lovely 1943. Yay! Keep going. And after a run of excellent cruddy old bottle caps, looks like I've got another coin. Shallow. Oh, two coins. Nice one. Got a uh, penny. 1939. And looks like a half penny. This one looks a little worn, actually. I think it's a Commonwealth of Australia one, 1920s era. Um, wait till I get to home and get it cleaned up. So, two in the one hole. Beauty, keep going. Well, always check your hole. I just thought I'd run my hand through the uh, the spill here, and uh, look what I found. <laughs> it's a threepence, a silver threepence. So I got three in the one hole. I'm liking this. 1943 by the look of it. Beauty. Okay, keep going. Well, I've just gone for a leisurely stroll for about uh, 100 metres. A few bottle caps, not much else. One cent pieces. And we get to this nice shady spot under the tree. Very strong 40-44. And just getting into the hard clay area, but sitting right on top. Right in the side wall. Lovely penny. 1952. Beautiful. Keep going. And under the shade of the big old tree, very soft sandy soil. 3032 signal, and I thought, oh yeah, aluminium dollar. No, nope, half penny. Look at that. And beautiful Rue half penny. A bit knackered on the coin side, the date side. Obverse, reasonable. So I might just have a little hurry on this uh, shady area. Beauty, keep going. That's where I got the half penny a minute ago. Come along a couple of steps. Bit of a funny old signal. Another half penny, but it's been aptly knackered by the mower. It's about a three quarters of a half penny. Beauty. And on the way back to the van, a screaming 40 signal. Shallow hole. And looks like a half penny. Yay! 1943. Excellent. I just dug a strong 32 over there, and that was a bottle cap. That one right there. And I got another 32 signal over here. And of course you have to dig them. Lucky I did. Half penny. Beautiful. 1947 Rue half penny. Nice one. And I'm almost at the van. Cheers all. Good luck and happy detecting.